Well, hello and welcome to the Physics Playground. Today's point of interest is cave underscore zero three. This is a difficulty tier one POI and can be obtained from the trader as a clear quest. Well, let's go and have a look around the number three cave. Around the outside, there's a few trees. There may well be a little bit of spoiled trash. But besides that, it's just a hilly little view. It's down this lovely little wooden platform that we wish to go to find the entrance. Here's a bit of garbage hiding at the bottom. Thank you very much. And then, well, there is a sound trap, or is that just a painted bit on the floor? More garbage out the front. No zombies yet. Um, it looks like that's our final loot. This is going to be an exceptionally easy cheese. Oh, and there's mushrooms. Let's see how many mushrooms we get. So I've just got one. I've just got one because I don't have any buffs at all. But I think there's going to be quite a few of them lying about the place. So we'll pick them up just to get an idea of what is available. So as we keep bashing those mushrooms, the first little room is about upon us. Here it is. And I'm sure there's a leg there. There's going to be a few sleepers hiding behind things. So, wakey, wakey, rise and shine. There's one of our friends. We have some resources in here. And more rubbish. Lovely. Okay. Keep going. Here we go. There's another sleeper. Wakey, wakey. And anyone else hiding around here? No. So, very simple start. I don't want, I want to get all the mushrooms. Now I really want to find out how many there are. Because uh, I'm always trying to find mushrooms in this game. And uh, it's it's quite nice, isn't it, when you find a whole bunch of them. So here we go. This whole part of the... Oops, the daisy. What? What? There we go. I thought I couldn't hit that one. Um, or that one. God, all my aim's completely off today. I should really wake up, shouldn't I? Okay. Um, there's a little notch here with nothing in it. Keep going. Oh, this is a bit low. Low for the old head. But no matter. Still not too much, but it is only a tier one. Oh, there's a little... Oh, there's something down there, isn't there? So let's just nip down here. We've got to be a little bit careful not to break our leg. There's a nice rock there. And a weathered sports bag too. Now, you could feel like you could get stuck here, but as long as you just follow this and look for this little lip, you can get out of there. No problemos. We must be heading up now. Oh, two different directions. Uh, let's poke our head around here. Not not much going on. But there... Oh, hello. There is... Well, I just got a feral, which is lovely. I was waiting for something there. I just had a feeling. I had a feeling. A little backpack, a bit more trash, but not exactly a great deal as you walk through. Nothing hiding behind or up in the ceilings. Now we have some kind of room, um, and that room certainly is going to have some zombies in it. There they are. Uh, let's just get rid of these two here. A few resources lying about. More garbage as well. So I suppose it's a place to come if you want that glue and duct tape and all of that. A few things to wrench here if you so wish. And a teensy bit of cobble. But it looks like, follow that emergency light, we're going up, up, up to the next area. Oh, immediately waking up some zombies. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We'll just take him out. Thank you for the drop loot there. And somebody else has woken up. Let's go around here. Whoa, don't you crawl on me. Oh, sorry about the arm. Oh, God, he's getting up after losing the arm. I feel bad. No, I don't. Gosh, I'm being lucky here today. A couple of those drop loots are always nice. Let's go and check. I probably missed some mushrooms. I'm sure you'll be able to tell me in the comments how many I've missed as I've walked around, but I'm doing my best. More trash. More mushrooms. Um, nothing a great deal. It must all be about the end loot. And here it is. A quick jump over here. And we have it. So there is a little ammo pile, a wooden crate, a couple of books. Um, or was that just one book? I don't know, but it was uh, that's always nice. And a couple of boxes too. Um, usually books are found in these mo boxes there. There they are, the mo power ones. Savage country for a bit of clothing, but you get more books, which is cool. And if we get our good old digger out, well, I'm, I'm not going to use a spade because I'm too lazy. There's a duffel bag hiding in the corner. Oh, lovely. Pipe shotgun. Bring it on. Then we go up here. And once we're up here, this is just a matter of jumping out safely without breaking one's legs. Uh, but the way to do it is to jump on here. And there's a little lip here just to help you and guide you down up and out 
of this POI. So there we have it. Cave number three. Cave underscore zero three. That's a nice little one to find. Can we get all of that loot really easily without waking up any zombies? If we are in day one basic mode. So here we are in our day one mode. Not a single point spent. So we're incredibly low level. And we are entering cave 03 again to see if we can cheese it. Now the mushroom situation, we got 24 of them harvesting only one uh, mushroom. And uh, I did check around the cave after I stopped recording. And that certainly seems to be the number. So there we go. Let's go and jump up on here. And then if we do maybe three of these, maybe one more, we've got to be careful because you can hit your head and get knocked off. But if we make a little bridge, then of course we end up on top of this ledge and we can jump all the way across. Down we go and it's all done and dusted. Now if there was a zombie lying here, which sometimes there is, I have tested it out and they do not wake up, which is great. So let's grab what we can very quickly. Oh, I got lucky today. Look at this, two pass and gas crates. Oh, that is what I'm looking for all the time, especially early game when you are saving up for a big bad vehicle in the future. So let's get inside these. And what do we find? We find ourselves oh, a hammer. Very nice, very nice. And a wrench. Well, there we go. Workbench sorted. Uh, let's get down here. Now, I don't have a shovel on me. And that's what you need to kind of sort out. But once you shovel through, you're going to find this duffel bag in the back there. And there's a few other goodies as well. So let me just get myself back out of here. Because we are done and dusted. We can get back round. Grab all of these. And it's time to get the cheeseometer out. I think you also know the answer to this one because that is so simple. It is an insane thing to simply walk past here. This is a level four. What do we think of the POI? Well, I like it. It's nice. I do love a little cave. Wouldn't you love to make a base around here? You know, make something funky in here, clear it out, stick a land claim block down and enjoy it. Maybe up here you could make an extra level of things i don't know it's just it's just ideas ideas i don't play the game enough as in i only play it all the time but i don't play it enough to make all the bases that i wish to do in here but there we go let us now go straight high up into the sky look at a few other caves there but this is the physics playground and we are attempting, no, we're going to go through every single one of these POIs, find out what to cheese, find out all the secrets. Please join me by hitting the subscribe button, but make sure you do hit that like and drop me a comment just to say hello. I'll see you later. Goodbye.